Hello there, this is Alex Whittier with STC, and we have a new tutorial for you today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to both create a usage-based ICD table, known as a white box ICD, and how to fix any flip-flopped columns you get after creating it. So let's jump in and see how to do it. I'm going to start with this campground block and create connectors between the ports on its campsite and RV part properties. Notice that I am purposely reversing my clicks on the power interface connector to highlight the problem it makes in the table we're going to generate. Now let's add item flows to each connector corresponding to the flow properties I previously defined for those interface blocks. To create the white box ICD table for this system, I need to select the campground block in the containment tree and create a new diagram. I choose white box ICD table and the software automatically creates the table with the appropriate columns and scope defined. This is a super useful table for keeping track of interfaces, but look at this row here. When the column swap happens, it makes the table really confusing to read. Next, I'm going to show you how to fix the column swap without deleting any connectors you've already made. To hone in on the offending connector, I'm going to right click on the row of the table, Go to Specification and choose the Connector element. From the Specification window, I'm going to go to Usage and Diagrams and double-click on any one of them. This opens the diagram and pre-selects the connector you're interested in. Because we realized item flows on this connector, we have a three-step process to fix it. So, step one is to left-click on the connector to pull up the Smart Manipulator. Click on the Item Flow Manager icon it looks like circular flow. You need to make the connector realize no item flows temporarily to be able to switch the connector ends and not the flow directions. We will realize the flows again in a minute. If you're going to have trouble remembering what flows to turn back on, I recommend taking a screenshot of the item flow manager right now to reference when we add them back. So I'm going to click realize none you can see that I now have a naked connector here on my IBD. Step two, and the only step necessary if we didn't have any item flows, is to right click on the connector and select refactor, reverse direction. If we jump back over to our ICD table, you'll see that immediately my part A and part B switched to what we wanted. There's a lot of UML happening under the hood to make that work. Our reverse direction was a change to the ordering of the ordered set of connector ends owned by the connector, but for us it effectively just changed the column assignment of the part property. Step 3 is to reinstate the item flows we unrealized in step 1. To do that we pull up the smart manipulator on the connector, open the item flow manager again, and select the check box next to all the item flows that need to be realized by the connector. This is not the same thing as the flows that need to be shown on the diagram. There's a little filtering option for changing what is shown. This is turning on all the stuff that flows on this connector on any diagram. Now we have a beautiful ICD table with columns lined up and flows going in the right direction. We did this without deleting and recreating any elements. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas on how to approach your projects moving forward. Have you used ICD tables or the reverse direction tool before? Let us know in the comments.